Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Ooh, um, doing your love reading here for October, the rest of October, and some going into November. Um, so if you are Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, these messages will be for you. Remember, it's a general reading, so take what fits, leave the rest. And personal reading link is in the description box below. Hi everybody, how are you? Good to be back. Good to be back. Another episode, another installment of Virgo's saga, drama, love life. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on. Virgos, what is happening now? What is happening in Virgo's love life? Okay, three of cups, ten of pentacles, and the knight of cups. Wow. Okay. The fool. Okay, let's see. Aquarian energy here. Some of you might be connecting with an Aquarius, perhaps, or maybe you will be, or you were in the past. Okay, Seven of Wands. Hmm. You know, usually when I start these readings, I start, you know, interpreting, not interpreting, well, interpreting the messages that come through intuitively. But I'm feeling like they're telling me to wait. Wait until we have all of the cards pulled. Okay. Hello, everyone in the chat. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. All right. So. All right. They're giving you some cards here. We're going to keep that. I want to see. So the emperor is there. Six of Cups. All right, we're taking them. We're taking them. Okay. Two sixes. Exchange. Reconciliation, perhaps. Even exchanges. Giving back. Bottom of the deck, Virgo. You have the lovers. Ooh. Deep, 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 vulnerable partnership. No one's breaking up. <laughs> That's good. No regrets. This is a decision being made here. A good choice. A good choice being made. Putting effort into working hard on this partnership. Okay, I know some of you are like, well, I don't have a partner. Okay, well, we'll do the singles afterwards and then we'll see. So what is going on here? We've got the Emperor Aries. We have Leo Sagittarius. Okay, they just told me that um, your person may have been connected with somebody else and that person has made a decision to not be with them anymore and to stay and be single, okay? Or just for whatever reason, I feel like your person... It's either your person ended something with somebody else or... You're, they're the one they were connecting with ended it. Whatever, whichever way it went, um, there was apathy and indifference here. Uh, it's just something not working out. Somebody just did not want to accept the love anymore. With the Four of Cups, there's an energy here of like feeling unfulfilled. It just wasn't, it just was not fulfilling. Whatever was offered, it just seems like it was not enough. And, well, it feels like I choose you, Pikachu. Feels like somebody here is choosing you. There's Gemini energy here. Okay, let's take a look and see what the love messages are. Uh, your person may have been dumped. Or somebody they were connecting with in the past, or whenever, just said, nope, it's not working out for me. You're not... You know, a board. The Four of Cups. They may have felt bored with them. They, I feel like whoever they were connecting with made the decision. But I also feel, honestly, they're, yeah, okay. They're saying it, it, it was like a mutual decision. It was like your person didn't fight it. They didn't fight it. They. I think whoever they were connecting with was feeling the same way. So that was like um, a dead end. 
that was a dead end that turned out maybe they went back to someone from their past and it turns out that was a dead end oh the drama express your love oh my gosh virgo romantic feelings and trust you know what virgo i know you don't want to hear it but i'm gonna tell you no matter how many others females or males are around your person um they're coming in to express their love to you okay um, so the Three of Cups is here. Let's take a look and see why the Three of Cups is here. Because this is some kind of celebration here. This person, I feel like, is coming in. They want to reunite with you and communicate this to you. Okay? Let's see. What is this celebration? There's definitely an offer coming in here. Okay, some of you might be connecting with a fellow earth sign, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, okay? Um, what is this? Oh, Ten of Pentacles here, yeah. Leo energy. This person's coming in here um, basically in this energy of like, I am, they're going to express how they feel for you, making a romantic gesture towards you they want to date they want to get back together with you they want to um just kind of come back and uh i don't know if it's like for some of you it's like going to partnership business together work together put effort into this relationship this is definitely a twin flame connection that's finally coming together okay they feel very positive about you uh this person I feel like at this time they're financially stable. They look really, really, they feel that they look really, really good financially. They want to leave a legacy. Children, they want to leave a mark on the world. For some, it could be a child. They want to have a child. Or um, their child is coming home. Or they're bringing their child or want to give you a, a, a gift to give to your child. If you have a child or children. It feels like... Um, this person's done very well for themselves financially. I, for some, this person came into a lot of money. I don't know if this is something like they came into this money um, by way of their hard work or it was left something was gifted to them or they acquired money through investments or stocks or something along those lines here i feel like this person is sitting pretty what sitting pretty pretty <laughs> with all these with all these coins here and i feel okay that they want to share this with you maybe they were waiting until they were financially stable for others you know it kind of feels to me like um some of you made the decision that you weren't going to keep this relationship going um some of you made the decision that you were going to do your own financial empowerment okay take care of yourself maybe you guys took a break like maybe there was for some there might not have been another person that they're leaving there was just this decision that you know we need to work on our financial situation first uh, maybe a mutual decision was made before we move forward before we have children before you know we do anything show me this knight of cups oh now you have the king of swords so some of you could also be connecting with an air sign and there may possibly be somebody new coming in here. Coming in to express how they feel. You know, I feel like for those of you, all right, so they're telling me do some new. For those of you who are just single as a Pringle and you are looking for somebody new, you definitely have a person who's wealthy or financially stable coming in. This could be a recommitment to love again between you and someone from your past. So it looks like we're going to have a, you could be dating somebody. 
and things begin to really change, really shift. Like a proposal of love comes in with this Knight of Cups. It's not just love. You know, this is like, um, this is like romance. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And if this is coming from an air sign, it's pretty profound. Okay? It's pretty profound for them to come in in this energy. Because I feel like this person, well, they could have air in their chart somewhere, but I feel like this person is usually generally very grounded, um, very analytical, the king of pentacles energy, a lot like you in a lot of ways, very solid and practical. This person may be an investor of some in some way. Um, pretty resourceful kind of person. Like they put work and business first. If they were connecting with someone else from the past, I feel like whoever they were with uh, just got really bored. There was no passion. There was no passion. Um, and the person was just like, eh, I'm just not interested anymore in you. Um, it's all about work with you all the time. <laughs> and some of you might be feeling that way as well. But let's take a look at this fool. This is like a major risk. This person traveling, taking a risk. Yeah, they're coming to your home. Um, they're coming. I just heard them. Um, I just, strange, I never looked at this card and saw this, but this feels like a four-poster bed. Somebody might have a four-poster bed. Four-post bed. Is that, am I saying that right? Four-post bed? Four-poster bed? Um, definitely want to be sleeping with you or um, making love or being together, these romantic feelings, <clears throat> exploring things here with you. Let's see, what is this? Okay, seven of wands, with the three of wands. Oh yeah, this person is definitely wanting to communicate. There's going to be communicating with you, new or old. That's what they're telling me. For some of you, it's this past person. Okay, a sing for you singles. One or two people are coming in, and they look good. They look financially stable, and they look good. Very smart, very wise type people. Okay, for you complete singles or those who are just done with the past and there was somebody but you're moving on for those of you who've got some some of you got somebody in the past here who's hmm, they don't want to wait that's what it feels like this person does not want to wait with the three of wands here okay this person as soon as you like i feel like you might give them some pushback and if there's travel or they ask to come see you some of you might give them some pushback because you might feel like they're just trying to have scx with you and you might just kind of stand your ground but it feels to me like this person they're waiting for not waiting but like they're gonna put something out there and see what you do and they're hoping that you don't block them or you know come across with that energy where you're just like overprotecting yourself you might have right to be that way because of something that happened in the past um but listen to me virgo the six of cups energy this feels sincere this feels like they truly do have romantic feelings they really do love you they want to be with you that's what the lovers is they don't want any more breakups um they have this deep 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 love for you like you're it for them they, this person believes that when you're together, you're sh two people, you're like stronger together. Vulnerability, opening up. Okay, yeah, this person's the hangman, Piscean energy. They're having a serious, like, they have a new view. Some kind of, um, hmm. Oh, they just told me. This person might not been, have been someone who was a gift giver or was someone who was kind of like, um, I want to say, yeah, it just feels like a gift giver or something. They might, maybe they were a bit selfish in the past in a lot of ways, okay, um, and quite unrealistic with things, but it feels to me like this is self-sacrifice. Like they're going to come in and actually sacrifice for you make those sacrifices that's what i feel 
they have a new it's a they have a new view a new view they have a new view of the situation of this relationship the new view of their feelings wow for some of you they may have like maybe you guys ended something and then they connected with someone else and that person's like I feel like that other person that they connected with was like really greedy, wanted to take their money, um, wanted to live in luxury, was all about, um, yeah, just kind of like financial gains. That's all they really wanted for them, with them, but they weren't, they just really weren't interested in the love. I feel like your person maybe tried to offer a cup of love or something. Your person was quite naive which is the fool they were quite naive and they thought offering their love uh, would be enough and the person they were connected with connecting with was like i don't want your love i want money you're just too you're too man this person that they were with feels to me like they were um Someone who just wanted to, wanted to, it just feels like greed. Someone who just wanted, they put money over love. So that they weren't trying to have, they just wanted financial stability from them. They wanted them to pay their rent. They wanted, um, that person wanted them to take care of them, pay for things, buy things for them, keep them in nice clothes, pay for their booze, pay for whatever. You know, very greedy in that way. They weren't. They just weren't about the. Uh, they weren't about this stuff here. The lovers, and I feel like that's what your person really wanted. Why you guys did not have that for some of you? Um, I'm gonna ask why you and your person. Why did you guys split up, or why was there some kind of a breakup here? What happened? For some of you. It wasn't a breakup. For some of you, you just met this person and they were involved with somebody else and it wasn't going well and they wanted to get out of it and they just, you know, were at a crossroads about that. Why was, okay, for the breakup, yeah. Ace of Cups. Because they wanted that new love. So if you were with this person and you guys split up and then they ran to a karmic or somebody else, um, they thought that it was love. They thought that it was going to be. I have somebody's initials, a W or an M or a T. Um, they thought that this was something good or someone they, you know, they made a mistake. There might have been a father and a mother involved in the situation or brother and sister. Could have been a boss and wife situation. Uh, somebody worked in... Well, maybe somebody was in military or police, you know, um, a CEO of a company. Why else, Spirit? Tell us why else did this thing not work out in the past between um, Virgo and their person? For those of you who are in a relationship with this person and split up. And they just want to say, oh, yeah. Yeah, this person thought they would have more victory, um, perhaps somebody else. They might have been tempted. They might have been tempted by a karmic or somebody else, okay? And they also may have thought, okay, they just said for some, there might have been like it's this conquering thing. <sighs> really 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 weird but it like i said wasn't meant to be with that person it just was not meant to be so you're the one they're meant to be with and yeah they are they've seen it yeah they've absolutely seen it so they're coming in absolutely they're coming in they're coming in to apologize to give you some kind of gift of some sort, which, like I said, is odd for them. They don't usually do this. Um, they've been thinking about this, though, for a really long time, about investing. Yeah, they've come to a place of um, rest now. They want to come rest with you. 
feel like this person, if you haven't been communicating with them, there has been um, some withdrawal or retreat. And some of you have not really understood why or what's going on this person's in they've been in recovery they've um it could be actual recovery from an addiction or uh looking back and contemplating these decisions that they made and how their addiction caused them to make the decisions that they made and for some it could have been maybe they were like a serial dater um or they just this could have been for some of you this person instead of putting the effort in to try to work on the relationship just end the relationship and just go find somebody new it's kind of like disposable finding like the having that disposable mindset it's too much work to it's too much effort to put in the work to repair a relationship or make or work it's a lot of work relationships are you know i know people are like oh it shouldn't be that hard it shouldn't be it really shouldn't be. We, we, we all understand that. But there's no such thing as smooth sailing. <clears throat> not, not forever. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be trials. There's going to be negotiations. There's going to be humility. There's going to be... Um, there's a lot involved in that, you know? And nobody's perfect. And sometimes in relationships, you can rub each other the wrong way. <clears throat> Some, one might be more sensitive than another. You know, one might be more easygoing than the other. So I feel like this person is really taking a look at their past actions when it comes to love or when it came to love. Whether this is somebody from the past that you were connected with or somebody new, I feel somebody's coming in like brand new, squeaky, squeaky clean here. Like as clean as a baby's butt here clean i feel cleanse clean coming in clean new perspective i owe you an apology virgo a sorry an apology a sorry uh coming in with true good beautiful loving intentions and expressing their feelings towards you and i you know i'm gonna ask in a minute let me see here Actually, let's wait a minute here. So we have the Six of Pentacles. So this person feels like they owe you. They feel like they owe you. They want to build trust again with you. <clears throat> and they're very determined to do this and get you guys back into this Ten of Cups or just have this with you, okay? The Ten of Cups is a very supportive, caring, compassionate, and loving energy. I don't feel like this person, if you knew them in the past, was very supportive of you. And if it's somebody new, I don't feel like they were just supportive in general. I feel like they they thought that if there was somebody else that they could connect with, that they just gave their love and support. But guess what? Karma bit them in the ass because this person didn't want their love. So they got burned by someone else they were connecting with. They got burned. So it's kind of like I feel if you were connected with this person and then they left, they went with someone else and they were trying to love bomb or give all that love and all that, they met their match. They met somebody, right, who was like, I don't want your, your gifts. I don't want chocolate. I want fur. I want a new car. I want you to pay my bills. I want you to, um, you know, take care of me financially feels like a wake-up call when it comes to love and compassion, sincerity and generosity. That's what it feels like is going on here, a new perspective. Okay. And here, giving back to you what they feel like they owe you. Some of them owe you money. <laughs> uh, paying that child support, paying for the kids, but it's coming from a place of love. Okay, and I know some of you are like, they're going to try to build the trust back up with you. Some of you are just, you don't trust them. And that's unfortunate. So yeah, you got to move on. Um, but I also feel like with the fool, this person is definitely going to take a risk and uh, try to come where you are. They want to, you, you might get a phone call. You might have this person knocking at your door. 
with some flowers or an apology or some kind of an offer. Okay. And they're going to fight for it. Okay. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Magician. Wow. Major manifestation. Yeah, they're coming in with truth. They're coming in to tell you everything, whatever they need to do to, to give back to you, whatever, whatever they need to do to help make this relationship better, to be more generous, because I feel like you were dealing with someone who's very selfish. Um, they're going to come in with the Ace of Swords. They're actually going to initiate. You're not even going to have to ask. They're going to initiate. Okay. It feels like um, this person is coming in uh, very courageously. Okay. Um, like in a leadership, like, like assertiveness is how I feel. They're coming in with assertiveness. If there was ghosting, like, if they ghosted you, they're going to show up. They're going to come out of hiding. Um, that's how I feel. Yeah. Because this, it just, they're just giving me this message here that um, they may, like yesterday, have had commitment issues. And, um, or they just had too many things going on or choices they couldn't make up their mind they couldn't figure it out well the knight of swords coming in it the knight of swords comes in like ready to take action the fastest knight in the deck a lot of communication a lot of talking this person's not gonna be able to shut up they have so much to tell you so much they want to tell you about changes that they're making and that they want to make with you and, how, and also tell you how they're going to manifest this energy. So we have um, Gemini here. How they're going to manifest things here with you. How they want to make things happen. Okay, their energy, no more scattered. They're not wasting their resources. They're not going to give you unfulfilled promises. This is like very focused and inspiring. This person has become inspired. And I think it's because... However they were with you in the past, for those of you who are this past situation, however they were with you in the past, they met their match in the negative. However they were negatively with you in the past, they met someone who treated them the exact same way and they didn't like it at all. You know how I like to say, they got their ass handed to them on a silver platter. Okay. Um... And for some of you, they needed to go through that. You need some of you needed to let them go, and you know, do what you got to do. You'll see. Karma, hindsight, twenty twenty. Some of you couldn't make this person see. They needed to experience themselves in another person. Harsh. It's a harsh, harsh lesson. You know, we don't have to. We don't have to. Um, we don't have to go through those things and learn those lessons. We can watch other people go through them and say. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Let's see what somebody else goes through. All right, I don't need to learn the lesson. I see what you went through. That's enough for me. Most likely, that's how it's going to happen for me. Um, I feel like pulling your messages of love oracles. Let's see. So, yeah. Uh, so, it says the situation is calling for you to have faith. That's up to you. But they are going to come in. Financial challenges are affecting this connection, okay? So there's a lot of greed, I feel. This person um, is coming in. They didn't lose their money. They didn't lose anything to this person, I feel like, because they didn't they didn't give them any financial. They didn't give them any money. They didn't, they didn't want to do that. They were trying to get the love or trying to give the love, and that person did not want them. Horrible. I mean, this is someone I feel, and you know, this is the Virgo card. So maybe they were messing around with another Virgo or uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it, you know, whomever. It feels to me like this is someone um, who's like, I'm single and I could do better without you. But this is someone who's angry. And usually the Nine of Pentacles person is not angry, but this is usually the bachelor or the bachelorette who doesn't want to commit sometimes. Um, just would rather be married to the money. I think there's a time and a place 
for that. You know, um, if you need to like distance yourself from someone and just focus on your career and stuff like that and get go after your solo pleasures, your financial gains, that's fine. They may have met someone who was burned by somebody else in the past and just did not have an open heart, okay? So there's chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Well, that, there's definitely chemistry between the two of you. And I feel like there always has been. And if this is somebody new, there definitely will be. If it's somebody new, it feels to me like this person is totally ready to have a good, healthy, loving relationship. Past or new, it doesn't matter. This person went through something they met someone who treated them the way they uh, treated others and there's a huge with that hangman you know major arcana those are pretty permanent when those cards come in um this person i feel like in the past was very selfish or played um played pretended like to be a victim or even was a traitor at times with others and whoever they were with it just feels like that a karmic it treated them the way they treated other people so now here they are with the hangman having a new perspective um they've grown they've what they've is it wised up okay and are ready to make those self-sacrifices in your connection and i said piscean energy spiritual lesson yeah this person learned a very hard spiritual lesson. And that's what that hangman in is. That's like Jesus on the cross. It's, they, had, they got schooled. They got a teacher. Somebody taught them some real hard lessons. And that person was that karmic or that person either that they left you for or that they were with before taught them a real hard lesson. They, they held up that big ass mirror in front of them and said, here. I am you, and I'm going to treat you the way you've treated this. I just saw, get out of here. I just saw a Christmas carol. You know the story of the Christmas carol when, you know, they all the three ghosts come back and they, they grab a hold of um, Scrooge and they take him to see how he's been all his life? <sighs> they, this person, like, met, met the Grim Reaper. That karmic was a Grim Reaper. Dark, dark, dark forces. Wait, timing is not quite right. Okay, there is some waiting energy happening here, but um, I feel like... You know what it is? Mostly Virgo, I feel like a lot of you just said, okay, have at it. Go with that person. Go ahead, you'll learn. You'll learn. Go get your lesson. Nothing I can teach you. You got to get out there in the world and see for yourself. You got to get treated that way in turn to see what it's like. Scrooge, take your Scrooge ass out of here and go learn your lessons. Because I ain't the Grim Reaper. I ain't Bob Marley. I'm not shaking these chains around you. Just go do your thing. And they got their, they got their come up and. I feel like some of you have been waiting for this. Some of you are just so wise. You're so smart. Time apart. Yep, distance brought clarity. That's for sure. An apology. I told you. They're coming in. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Your sorry ass better be sorry. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> you know what? There's an old saying. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Don't waste your time going after people. Seeking revenge on other people. It's a waste of time. All it does. I always believe. And, and I see. I don't take revenge on people. I don't. I, no. I'm like. Okay. Well. If you do me dirty. I'm going to let you go. Um, because God can exact revenge on somebody way better than I could. And I'm pretty damn smart. And I could cook up a good scheme or two if I, if, if I, so I take, I take my schemes and my energy and I write, I write books. I write, I've got like three books in the works. So I put all that energy into my stories and stuff. I don't put that out into the world onto people because it, it never, I'm never fully satisfied. 
I know it. I know that if I were to like, I don't know, put a trip line in front of your door and you fall over and smack your face, that gives me a temporary, that would give me a temporary um, glorification. But I know God's revenge is way, way, way stronger and better and can change people. Okay, so some of you were just like, I'm not going to mess with this because that's dark energy. Revenge is dark energy. Friendship. Okay, his friendship is leading to more. Some of you are going to come in and meet this. They're this person going to come in and meet you and celebrate with you. Or maybe you'll meet them at a, like an event or a concert or... A party or some kind of uh, gathering or something for some it could be like a school reunion um, that turns into a friendship there's communication this person I feel like is going to tell you like some of you are going to ask them what happened in the last relationship or what you went through and they're going to tell you well this is what happened I got I learned a big lesson I learned a lot of stuff you know I learned a lot right and you guys form a bond and a friendship and then it moves into a romantic loving relationship okay someone is secretly longing for you and healing okay so whoever your past person is they're definitely in this position um just feels like kicking themselves like oh i made a mistake i've lost everything because I made these stupid choices, because I wouldn't listen. I, but they needed to go and learn this lesson, and they did. And they want to heal this connection. Maybe you guys met when you were very young. Maybe you were married to this person. Maybe you had children together, or there was something about your connection that had to do with um, childhood for some. All right. See what your moonology cards are here. Virgo. For some of you, this person wound up going to jail. The person they were connecting with put them in jail for fraud or accused them of fraud. There may be an, uh, an element here that this person did try to give their love as well, but you know, to that other person and that other person just wanted money and, and they, they did drop a few dimes in their pocket and those few dimes left them kind of without much and they had to rebuild. Communication is key. New moon and Gemini, right? And the lovers, this is a six card. This represents harmony, appreciation, self-sacrifice, again, loyalty, responsibility, and communication here, okay? You could be connecting with a Gemini for some of you. They might tell you like some really bad stuff that they went through and and they're, um, there's just a lot of communication coming from this person. Things you didn't know and some of you, this is a surprise. You're gonna be mighty surprised about what they open up and share with you. Stepping out of your comfort zone. North node. Okay. That feels... I'm just picking up... I don't know why. I'm just picking up Leo energy from that card. Okay. But it feels like this person is definitely... It's a comfort zone. It's coming out of their comfort zone to come up here and tell you. They know they owe you an explanation. They feel they do. Some of you are like, you know, I mean, nothing. Just keep it moving. But... This person, I feel like they feel like they owe you an explanation. And it's going to be, they're coming out of their comfort zone to, to talk and communicate with you why they did what they did, what they learned, more importantly. Working through their fears, new moon in Scorpio. So somebody here could have, um, if you have a moon in Gemini, the communication is going to be very important to you. Um, if you have a moon in Scorpio, this working through the fear right now is going to be very important for you. Now for others, 
it could be a Gemini or a Scorpio, okay? Not all of you, just some. I felt like I needed to point that out. Um, all right, let's get your advice, and then we're going to take a look at your charms. And I kind of feel like... Um, I, I was going to do the singles, but it feels to me like um, for some, this is two people, one new and one old, both having learned some kind of like really karmic lesson. Virgo, you just sit there. You're sitting pretty. Virgo's like, I know everything. I'm right and everybody else is wrong. And that's just the way it is. Virgo, because you're so discerning and analytical, you can see right through things. You have clarity of the Ace of Swords. You just cut right through the smoke screen. You know everything. Even if you can't prove it, you're like, no, I know it. I know it because it's just physics. It's the law. It's math. It's the way it's got to go. You know, I, some of you, I just hear you. I knew if I let this person go, they would go to get their lesson learned a lot quicker than I would teach them or ever could. So kudos for you for standing in your strength. Okay, five of fire, conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Virgo walking away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. And then standing up for yourself. And that's what I was talking about. A lot of you, like I know, we like the drama here, but you know what? A lot of you can just sit on your couch, have your popcorn or your snacks, and watch drama on Netflix until you're blue in the face. But as soon as that shit walks in your door, you're like, up, oh, out. <laughs> and I feel like that that is, like, in your personal relationships, like, everybody else, go ahead, have your drama. Let me get my chair. Let me pull up a chair. But when it comes into your own personal life, Virgo, hit the road, Jack. You say, mm -mm, you don't want it. You don't need it. You don't want it. You, Virgo, a lot of you are like, you know, I could do, I could do a lot better on my own. <laughs> I can do a lot better on my own. I don't need you. <laughs> I don't need your drama. I need you. I love you, but I don't want your drama. Lock that shit outside. Virgo's like, mm-mm. Okay, there you go. Ten of fire. The need for balance in your life. See, Virgo, that's what you seek. Balance in your life. Point blank period. Your energy at this time and your advice is like, let go of the burdens. The ten pretty much represents the end of something and the beginning of something new. Okay? And... Virgo, a lot of you just need to finally say no, or you need to just really, some of you just really need to lighten up a little bit here. Just lighten up. Let spirit, let God, let the universe take care of everything. Let Jesus take the wheel if you have to. Okay? Don't struggle. Don't put so much effort to get to yourself, um, to, um, to, to get to the point where you're just so stressed and exhausted or you piled too much up on your plate. Okay? Piece by piece, take things. Take a break. Go for your freedom. If you haven't done that yet, because I'm telling you, when uh, there's times, Virgo, where you just got to say, you know what, Lord? You know what, Spirit? I'm giving this over to you. And envision yourself putting all your problems and all your stress, surrender it to, to Spirit or higher power. I'm just going to start saying higher power because it's too much. I, it's just, I can't keep track of who's following who. Put all of your cares, your burdens, your worries in higher power's arms and just say, take it so I can get some sleep tonight. Just take that person and take care of them because I got stuff to do. Virgos, I got shit to do. I can't be... I cannot be bothering with this drama and, you know, this person, they got their own lessons to learn in life and I can't be out here. For some of you, this is your kids and you're like, you, you know what? I raised you. I did the best I could. Was I perfect? No. Am I, am I still trying for the young ones? Yes, but you know what? It's higher powers involved in all this here and some of you just got to let things go. There's the emperor again. Okay. 
So for some of you, this is your emperor, your Aries. Coming back around. He'll be coming around the mountain. Logic and organi organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept the leadership role. Struggle, structure and discipline. So for some of you, you need to take on this emperor energy. The emperor is not immature. The emperor does not have problems with power. The emperor is a good planner. The emperor does not have a big old nasty ego. The emperor is a leader, strategic, and a good father. And demands, no, I take that back. The emperor commands respect just by his presence. Doesn't have to go chasing it. Doesn't have to tell people to, to respect him. Because if the emperor has to tell people to respect him, that means that he's around people that are not respecting him. So he may not be respecting himself. But when we are self-respecting, we don't ever have to tell anyone to respect us. Because they are going to react towards us in a particular way. You command respect by self-respecting. right so when you're walking in your power people can sense it and they act accordingly to what you're vibing out but if you got to go around chasing people and say respect me respect me respect me it's because you're not respecting yourself the emperor doesn't ever chase or go to anybody and say you need to respect me <laughs> it's all about taking a look at yourself you know, I just had this vision. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember um, the Cosby show from back in the day. Claire Huxtable. Remember Claire Huxtable? You could just tell by looking at Claire, the character she played. You could just tell by looking at her that she was not one to be messed with. Claire Huxtable never, ever, even her own husband, respected her. Clara Huxtable never went around complaining, nagging, telling people they needed to res She came across as that in that persona. She put that on. She wore that like a very proud cloak, that respect. I don't know. Don't ask me why Clara Huxtable came into my head. I do not know. But I think she's, if that she's just, I guess they're giving me an example, male or female. Respect, self-respect is when you're around other people and they say something to you and you just give them the side eye in silence. And they're like, oh, I, 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 it's implied that I probably should not have said that to you or treated you that way. Give them the Claire Huxtable side eye. happening here in house of virgo world okay and queen of fire you gotta take on that boldness see i feel like a lot of you again i don't know i feel like leo virgo cuspers keep showing up here a lot of you um we're, we're pretty evenly matched with your person but i feel like you, at some point in the past you were at a crossroad and something like a decision had to be made about this partnership and perhaps it was just said it wasn't going to work out some of you just said no i'm going to be single take care of my own thing for a little while here and just leave the past in the past yes you were a blessing in my life yes i learned a lot from you but you know moving on either way you let somebody go to take care of whatever they needed to do or this person had someone who let them go. The Queen of Wands is here to tell you to be emboldened, to be brilliant, to be uh, to focus on your talents, to be independent, to remind yourself there is nothing that you cannot do, Virgo, to believe in yourself and never underestimate your abilities or allow anyone else to underestimate your abilities. Show people. Don't tell show people what you can do the queen of wands male or female is all about action it's all about showing if i tell you what i'm gonna do and i don't do it then i'm a fraud right what do you guys always say 
actions speak louder than words. Be the action that speaks louder than words. And however that means for you, command that respect. If you need to walk away from something or leave something, don't tell people you're going to leave. Don't tell people that's it, you're done on social media, you're getting off of here. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, you'll be back. Show people and make a decision and stick with things. If you're going to stay in this relationship, show, not tell. Some of you need to seek balance between your career and your personal life. Some of you are working way too hard and you don't have a personal thing going on in your life. Any social outlets or personal um, connections with people, family, friends, and others, you're just too personal and you need to get on top of your career. Whatever stage you are in, um, maybe even not your career, but whatever you're if you're trying to build something for yourself or go somewhere in your life or do something, all right, just to seek the balance between those. All right, let's do your charms. Oh, hmm. okay. You know what, you guys? False start. I am... And the reason why I'm saying is because these are... It's my fault. I have to be honest with you. I didn't I didn't shake up my charms enough. So we're going to Okay, here we go. Oh, you got a bunch of bananas. Some of you think this person coming back or that you're connecting with is totally bananas. But anyway, um why am I putting those back? Whoops. All right. Some of you I mean, come on. You're eating a banana? You just bought bananas. You're slicing bananas. Some of you are either you did this or you're going to do this. Put little bananas on some smile pancakes I just heard for maybe a little girl or your kids. Maybe it's a little breakfast thing or I just gave you an idea. <laughs> I feel like this is all about breakfast here. <laughs> oh, wow. You got... You got the dice. Roll the dice. Okay. Some of you, um, your person is recovering from a gambling addiction or a betting. They, had, they were betting, sports betting or, uh, you know, I don't know. It could be sitting in a bingo hall. Who knows? Just betting. A lot of betting. Um, but this feels okay. Did your person have dice hanging from their windshield? Their, their rear view mirror? Maybe you do. I feel like you need to, um, okay, they just, no, they said, no, it's you, Kel, you need to roll this dice and tell them what number, their numerology number. Okay, for structure, foundation, realization, stable situations, and planning. Okay, you might be seeing fours right now, or four, 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 or you've been seeing them. Pay attention to those fours. All right, we're going to get one more. I think my music ended. Okay, you've got a bike. Um, oh, all right. That's not your typical bike. Some of you do um, spinning. You take spinning classes. Maybe you're spinning right now as you're listening to this. Or you're, there could be some exercise to do with spinning or riding a bike. But I'm feeling... Um, I, it feels like... Um, like a bicycle, like an exercise bike. That's really what it feels like. Now, also, um, somebody, they just said, um, the bike is on the side of the road, they said. The bike is on the side of the road. What does that mean? Go there, look there. The bike is over there. It's on the side of the road. It's like down in the grass. It's kind of hidden. It's laying very flat. Go look there. Near where you are. I don't know what that means. Okay, and now we have kiss lips. Makeup. You're getting kissed. You're going to get a nice, big, juicy kiss, Virgo. <laughs> During this time period, October, like now through the first like, week or two of November, somebody's coming in with a kiss. Oh, Okay, they just, listen, I've been channeling Prince. I'm not kidding. Ask, ask the people I've been talking to. I've been channeling, well, you would know who they are. Ask, oh, they just said ask. 
ask ask for a kiss i've been channeling prince so much this past week and i don't know why i don't know if this was his anniversary maybe of his death his music something's been i think it had a lot to do like i do feel like he's talking through me but there was a song by prince called kiss and i feel like that's how your person feels about you they're saying <laughs> that song kiss how does that go I don't remember. Somebody post the link <laughs> to that video. I can't remember. Maybe I'll post it when I'm done here. But, um, oh, your reading was really great. I really, really enjoyed your reading. So, but I'm going to get going now. Five minutes left before the hour, but that's okay. I think that was long enough. Um, don't forget if you, um, if you missed, um, the live stream paid readings that I had, a little bit ago um, you can join in go over to my moon pie tarot channel and i will be there depending on what time you're listening to this reading from 11 a.m to 1 p.m eastern standard time so if you missed the first one go over to that channel and you can pop over there and you can get a mini reading with me there all right virgo gonna be finished here so i hope you guys have a great evening a lovely weekend coming up and i will see you guys all tomorrow okay bye <laughs>